So with only 24 hours left on the beta when the changes came in, Infinity Ward finally did end up tuning the perk system within the multiplayer beta after all this time of saying that it would be coming. Now, I'm happy to see a change here and looking forward to seeing how it plays further beyond just for testing purposes, like the matches that I've played up until recording this video. I just wish that we as a community would have more time than 24 hours to kind of feel it out because I'm sure that there's plenty of people who won't be able to fully jump on and see what's different in gameplay feel. But anyways, today Infinity Ward changed the perks and we're running down how they changed and what's new with them. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Do you like these changes? Do you prefer the perk system as it was in weekend one or up until today? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you'll find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2 as we gear up for the full launch in just over a month's time at this point. If you'd like to join us on that road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you. And finally, check out my friends over at G Fuel who've bumped up code Espresso to 30% off your entire order in celebration of Beta Weekend 2. Flavors like Hype Sauce, Pink Drip, the Morbius Nectarine flavor, Strawberry Banana, and more. Can't go wrong with any of those. So if you're interested, links in the description below. Make sure to use code Espresso. But anyways, let's talk about the perk system at hand and some of the fundamental changes to that system. So the perk system this year is a little different. Instead of just having your base standard three perks, you instead choose two of a select number of perks as your base, then two that you earn throughout the match, a bonus perk and an ultimate perk, changing the formula that we've seen for better or for worse, depending on your outlook on it. Now, initially the base perk earn rates were if you just ran around and did nothing, no objective play, no kills, no assists, no streaks, you'd earn that bonus perk first at the four minute mark into the match and your ultimate the same way, no kills, assists, objective play, just running around in your spawn, you'd earn that fourth ultimate perk at eight minutes into the game. Fundamentally, that takes a little while to earn all four perks. And again, depending on your outlook of the system, it may be good or bad. Now, some of those perks, of course, are sort of scaled and tuned differently, being a little bit more powerful than others. So it's subjective. Now, that's how the system worked at a base before. And previously, we didn't really know any details on the modifiers on how things worked. I think we might have figured that out a little bit, or at least preliminarily having a sort of guide as to how to earn them quicker now. But playing the game, you absolutely noticed that you could get those much quicker than just that base four and eight minutes. Now, again, that's something that was either good or bad, depending on your subjective outlook. But Infinity Ward ended up changing this finally, where today, if you jump in, you'll end up seeing that the base bonus perk is earned at a flat rate of two minutes into the match if you're not doing anything. And the ultimate is now earned at four minutes flat into the match if you don't do anything. So doubling that speed in which they normally charge. So fundamentally, you do earn these perks a little bit quicker. And I definitely think that's pretty nice. But you factor in things like kills, streaks, objective captures, assists, and all that, you'll notice again, substantially faster than even that two to four minutes. Now, as for those earn rates during further testing, I think we may have broken it down a little bit. I wouldn't take these as gospel, but they do kind of check out in terms of the mathematics behind all of it. So for some of my testing, the one that absolutely was a perfect example here for me was 6v6. I played on Museum. It wasn't a great game. I was moving around, played a little bit of objective play, got some kills, but I got my bonus perk at one minute and 30 seconds into the match. Now, during that time, it was kind of the stalemate where everybody tries to set up map positioning. I had one kill and an objective capture in there. And so theoretically, 30 seconds off that two minute time frame, that can easily be divided by two, either 15 seconds per, or what I think more accurately, it's about 10 seconds shaved off per kill and 20 seconds per objective capture. Now that ultimate, I actually earned that two minutes and 40 seconds into the match, getting five kills in between that bonus and the ultimate earn rate. So theoretically, again, another 50 seconds shaved off there. Now between that 30 seconds shaved off first with that bonus perk and the 50 shaved off in theory with the ultimate, that's 80 seconds shaved off in total. That ultimate being earned at 240 into the match, 80 more seconds past that, that's our four minute benchmark. So to me, that checks out mathematically. Another prime example, I think here of testing and one that also adds another thing into the equation, I think was a ground war match that I played right after finding out these new earn rates, where in that time, I got my bonus perk at one minute and 25 seconds into the game with three kills. So if we end up taking our 10 seconds shaved off per kill, that's 30 seconds, but that doesn't account for the extra five seconds that I ended up shaving off there. To me, I think the only discrepancy that I can think of is a capture assist on a flag, maybe counting as five seconds shaved off as a partial bonus, obviously not giving the full thing the full 20 since I only stepped through it at the beginning of the match. But that's the only difference that I can think of and why there'd be a bonus five seconds rolled into that. So preliminarily, I think this checks out. And in terms of a balancing on the system, independent of what you think of timed rollout of perks, if it's good or not, I think that 10 seconds per kill and 20 seconds per capture is a pretty solid balance. You're not going to be capturing objectives in the same frequency as getting kills, most likely. I mean, when's the last time you got a double capture metal pop up. So I think it makes sense in that regard. So that's where we're at with the new balancing of this perk system. Now, I definitely think this is much better than where we were beforehand. If you're looking to get your perks, absolutely. But honestly, I kind of would love to see this go even a step 
further. While it's nice to see these earned a little quicker, I'd love to propose, even though we wouldn't have the time to see this unless the beta is extended one more day, I'd love to see how the game would play with three perks, like the bonus rolled into a standard perk, but then that ultimate being the only one that's timed on the rollout. I feel like that might incentivize a bit more engaging play at the start of the match if you have the opportunity to end up getting an extra six perks right out of the gate for your class, especially because there are some important ones in that bonus category, but not necessarily as important as the ultimate. Things like fast hands, resupply, quick fix, and focus, those are all really important perks that can absolutely be beneficial here early game and for the entire duration of the game. Now, things like your ultimates, I'm okay with high alert, ghost, survivor, and bird's eye being a bit more of an earned ability rather than given. If you've been around the channel long enough, you know my absolute burning hatred of the perk ghost, especially the way that Infinity Ward handles it, how many streaks I've died off of because someone was in a corner with it. So yes, it's no slight to you if you use it. It's a very valid perk. It's more of a meme and personal vendetta for me at this point. But I think that might be a nice compromise between giving that base classic three perks, but also introducing more into that gameplay system as a whole. So that's just me. You may feel differently, and that's entirely cool if so. But I'd love to see that ideally. But right now, this is absolutely better, I think, than what it was beforehand. All in all, I'm happy to see some changes made and I'm curious where everything will stand going forward. I don't think that we'll have a definitive answer until launch to know if what we have right now actually makes the full game or if they revert back to the original perk system with the four and eight minute charge rates. I just personally don't think that they'll communicate that before launch. And I mean, end of the day, even if it's not implemented in the game at launch, they clearly have the ability to tweak it. So it could be something that happens post launch, even if this version doesn't make the version that's shipped with the game. My only disappointment at all of this is that we only have 24 hours to test this out at the moment. After mentioning it twice over the last two weeks officially in the midst of honestly quite minimal communication, it's definitely something that stood out for that entire time. So I wish we would have just seen this earlier, you know? And also thinking communication, I think that we're kind of in for another year of not super specific communication if we get a ton at all. I mean, in Modern Warfare 2019, we literally had a series of videos here on the channel detailing the secret changes of things every single update because there were so many of them that weren't communicated in the patch notes. So with Infinity Ward's tweet of kind of basically just saying, hey, this is what changed, we finally tuned it, with no specifics or any link to patch notes or anything like that, breaking it down further, I kind of think we're in for the same thing this year. So for better or for worse, we might see those videos return, but that's where we're at here at this. That is the perk system and how it was adjusted so far. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys liking the change made to the perk system at the moment, do you like it better when it was four or eight minutes at the base fundamentally to earn these perks? Would you like to see a sort of hybrid system like we proposed here where maybe that bonus perk is rolled in as a base perk and then the only thing you earn as a rollout is your ultimate? I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. So let me know. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2. We got a lot upcoming here in the next couple of weeks leading up to launch. So I'd love to have you in the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.